And a plant champions. Okay. Well, we now have a customer that has come to us with a real use case and said, listen, I need to do a lookup on a price that's between this price and this price. And based on that, I want you to tell me what the discount percent is. And I want to be able to adjust that discount percent based on different levels. How aggressive do I want to be with that price? So what we've done here is we've set up the use case. This will be this will serve as our kind of our model schema here. And what we want to do over here, just like I have right here, is we want to buy product, allow the user to enter the level of the discount that they want, have Anaplan look up the price of that product, then go look up to see what price tier it belongs to, and then return the discount percent. All right, so that's what we're gonna to try to do today. And if we do it, we're gonna earn this lovely level three sum and look up champion badge. Okay, here we go. Now, rather than building this thing from scratch, I'm just gonna jump right in and I'll let you pause the video so you can see uh, the blueprint and, and, and build this yourself if you want. But this is how we're gonna solve this. This is a very special kind of lookup but one that is typically one that you will encounter as you go into uh, real practice with Anaplan. Okay, so let's take a look at our uh, model that we have here. So we have, we have three different lists. We have to create one for the products. That's just all products. We have to get one for our price tiers and we have to have one for our discount percent. So let's take a look at products we have three products, one, two, three. For our price tiers, we have three price tiers. Let's take a look at that. One, two, three, Great. excellent. For our discount levels, again, we have three levels of discount aggressiveness that we can have, one, two, three. And as usual, once we build our list, we need to build our system modules. So today we're just gonna build two system modules and the third one's actually an input module that we're gonna create. But for products, let's take a look at that. For products, right, we have the product list item and the price, pretty straightforward. Here's the blueprint. You can see the formula is very straightforward and the number is entered for the price. And that's the system module for product. For price tiers, very similar, we have the product line or the tier line item and then we have a low price and a high price this is what's going to allow us to look up the range right so when i look up a price is it between this price and this price or this one and this one or this one and this one this is kind of the key to our to our problem here once we have those two system modules the best the next best thing to do is to create this thing called the, what's called the price the price changes module this price changes module, notice, uses discount levels and price tiers as the list. Okay, so let me open that up and you can see it. And all it's really doing is it's saying, look, what is the discount percent if it is a, uh, based on the discount aggressiveness that I want, which is level one, two, or three, and based on what price tier it is in. So I just have this three by three grid. It has all the different percents that I need. Um, and that is what we kind of consider an input module, but it's also one that, you know, because it's an input module, something I could change over time and will automatically permeate and calculate throughout the, the rest of the model. Okay, so once you've got the price changes, and I'll, you can see there's nothing really to the blueprint, it's just because it's editable. Now what we can do is probably the best thing to do is go ahead and create the target module, which is this discount planning. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open this up and go into blueprint mode. We'll, we'll talk about the formulas in a second, but I would just go ahead and enter all the line items that you want. And I did add this uh, dynamic cell access driver in here too. We'll take a look at that. But enter all of the line items first. And then it's kind of good to see, well, what is it that I'm missing? And we're, what we're gonna really be find out that we're missing from all of this is we just need to be able to look up that, that, that discount, this one right here. But let's go ahead and go into the key module here, which is this one, which is the calc module. The calc module has two lists, product 
and price tiers. Product and price tiers is the two lists that you need. Let's open that up and let's start in blueprint. So we have four line items. We have is the price that we just looked up low, uh, above the low price? Is it below the high price? And is it both of them? Right. So let's take open that up and see what that actually looks like. So what it's doing is it's saying, look, look up product number one. And we know product number one is seven dollars and ninety nine cents. Right. So seven dollars and ninety nine cents. Yes, that is above the low, which is zero for tier one. And those all of them are checked off because everything's above zero. Um, and for tier two, you could see, yeah, for for the for product one, it's it's still in the in the low one and it's still in the third one as well right um, so where in what condition would both of them be true because that that will tell us which price tier the product one belongs to so you can see yes it is above the low it's below the high so which means it's both so this one gets checked off as well so that's low and high and what it returns is the price tier. So there's our formula. If it is both low and high, then go ahead and give me the price tier. Otherwise, don't give me anything. Now, because Anaplan needs to do a lookup, and our discount planning module, this is our target module right here, is only based on product. That is the only list that we are using in our target module. Going back to here, when I look it up to bring it into the target module, the only uh, list that I can use is product. I cannot use tier. It doesn't know what tier is in the target module. So somehow I have to get this tier value that's right here to show up in the all tier summary for this product right so that I can look it up so there's one little special thing you do have to do and that's you have to turn the summary method on for the price tier that's right here okay so enter these formulas as I have them here make sure that the summary is turned on for that price tier and that is what will allow you to look up the the discount percent all right so let's go through these formulas very carefully together so the product that's pretty straightforward the tier you can see that the tier is just a straight lookup or you don't even really need to use the lookup function you can just go grab it because we um, know what that tier is now because it's the same dimension right product is there and product is also in my source module all right so I just go grab the tier once I have the tier I can then use the tier and the discount level which the discount level is entered so I have the tier and the discount level now that I have both of these I can look up the discount percent that I need right which is in this module right here that's our input module that we have see there's the level, there's the tier, and it's just looking up exactly which percent that I need. Okay, so once I have the discount percent, I can then calculate the new price. And if you want to really want to impress your friends, you can create this nice uh, Boolean driver for dynamic cell access. And I basically said, look, if you didn't enter a discount percent or discount level, then I want it to be invisible. And so you can see if I remove the discount level, notice everything just goes invisible, right? That's dynamic cell access. That's how that works. And you can see it over here when I scroll to the right, you can see that it's right there in the right access driver, right there. And that's what turns off the cell values when you get to the, if you get a blank level. So. If you made it that far and you, you got the values in there, give yourself a sum and look up champion. But that's how this product, that's how this use case can work in Anaplan. Enjoy.